So, hello and welcome to today's Junior Church. And because it's a nice day, I thought I would, uh, I would do this outside. Some of you might be saying, John, couldn't you have taken your washing in before you started? Couldn't you have tied it up? But the washing is a clue to what we're going to be talking about today. And I want you to try and guess... What do all these things have in common? And how do they relate to one of my favourite hobbies? One of the things I really, really like to do. So, should we have a little look at what there is? Let's go and see. So, we have got a hat. We have got a very fancy watch. A pair of socks. A t-shirt. Now I wonder how many of you can read upside down what that says. We have got a pair of shorts. And last but by no means least, we've got a pair of trainers. A pair of trainers with different laces. And what's quite surprising is I've got another pair exactly the same. So looking at all those things on my washing line, I wonder if you can have a guess at what you think my favourite hobby is. What is it that I'd like to do as often as I can? I'll give you a minute to have a think. So, I wonder how many of you guessed what the connection was and what my hobby is. Well, you might be able to see that it's running. I really like to run. I'm not a big fan of running in a town or running in a city. I really like to get out in the countryside, to be able to run through the fields, to be able to run up the hills, to be able to run through the woods and through the forests. And if I could, I'd do it every day. It would mean I got out of the house. It would mean I got some exercise. It would mean I got fit. It might even mean I got picked for the Olympics. But I don't think I will. And the reason I say that is because although I really enjoy the running, I can't do it every day. I'm too old. I get too tired. My legs get too sore. So although it's a really good thing to run, sometimes an even better thing is not to run at all. It's to have a day where I do nothing. To have a day where I just rest. To have some time where it, it lets my legs recover. Where it lets my battery recharge. What that then means is that when I do go out running again, I've got lots more energy. I can run faster. I can run further. It's about making choices. Making choices between what's good and what's better. And that's what our story is about today. The story of Martha and Mary, and when Jesus came to visit. So, you'll notice that I have moved inside, and I've moved into my kitchen. Because this is where part of today's story takes place. This is where we'll find Martha. Martha's in the kitchen, 
and she's busy making some food. She's busy making a meal for Jesus and all his disciples who've come to pay them a visit. So you can imagine she's really, really busy. There's lots to do. There's lots to get ready. Where's her sister, Mary? Well, she's not in the kitchen. Mary's in the living room. She's listening to what Jesus has to say. So you can understand why Martha has got angry. There's nobody to help with the work. Remember what I said a little bit earlier when I was talking about running and I was talking about making choices, making decisions between something that's good and it is good that Martha's taking the time and the trouble to make something for Jesus' lunch so he's not hungry. But I wonder, I wonder how often might Jesus come to visit? How often might they have the chance to sit and listen to Jesus in person? And so that's what Mary's done. Mary has made a decision. Yes, she could be in the kitchen helping Martha, and that would be a really good thing to do. But Mary's made a better decision. She's made the decision to make the most of the opportunity to listen to what Jesus has to say. I'm sure there were occasions when the situation was reversed. When it was Mary that was in the kitchen doing all the work and Martha was sit, sitting by Jesus' feet, listening to those stories. And that's what it's about. It's about decisions. It's about deciding what should we do that would be good and what could we do that would be better. Well, that's enough from me. Let's listen to a song. A song that explains the situation Mary and Martha found themselves in. I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Well, Mary sat with Jesus. She was not like her sister. Cranky Martha did her jobs with no one to assist her. While well, Jesus said to both of them, well, you just faced a test. Martha chose the good, but Mary Chose the best. Two, three. There's the good. There's the good. And there's the best. There's the best. Live by faith. Live by faith. Take the test. Take the test. Pray for help. Pray for help. When you're stressed. <sighs> Leave the good. Leave the good. Choose the best. Choose the best. Well, it's good to weed the kitchen. There are always beds to mow. It's good to dust the chickens, tick the jobs off as you go. But Jesus wants our hearts and minds. His word is good and true. Put Jesus at the very top of everything you do. There's the good. There's the good. And there's the best. There's the best. Live by faith. Live by faith. Take the test. Pray for help, pray for help, when you're stressed. Oh. Leave the good, leave the good, and choose the best, choose the best. Oh, I've got so much to do. I've got to polish the guinea pig, vacuum my nose, concrete the groceries, cook up my clothes, shampoo my homework, paint my cat blue, walk my gorilla, practice kung fu. How can I serve God when I have still so much to do? Well, there's the good, there's the good, and there's the best. Live by faith, live by faith, take the test, take the test.
pray for help. When you're stressed, leave the good and choose the best. Ask your great and heavenly father, make you merry, not a martyr. Don't be angry if the shoe fits, choose the Lord and not the do list. If you're a fusser or a fretter, take the plunge and choose the better. And pray for help when you're stressed. Leave the good, leave the good, and choose the best. Choose the best. Leave the good, leave the good, and choose the best. Choose the best. Oh. Now, where did I leave my diamandable axolotl sanitizing probiotic gibble whacker? It was just here before I started the song. Um, anyone? Mm.